Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a series I'm gonna call Mythbusters Ani Style. Okay, I'm still working on the title. Help me out in the comments below, will ya? And today we're busting a myth that has to do with oxalite. Very often in a new colony, we'll have these big blocks of oxalite available for our dupes to breathe. Oxalite is a consumable ore that releases oxygen kinda in the same way that slime and polluted dirt release polluted oxygen. So when, in the early game, I come bulldozing through this, something like this, I am sure to get many comments about how I just wasted all sorts of oxygen. And I used to just comment back to them saying, hey, no, that's not the way it works, etc, etc. But it really makes me come off as, uh, I don't know, pompous? So I've stopped responding to those folks. Instead, I'm just gonna do a video that highlights why it doesn't matter if you dig it out or if you leave it sitting here. It's the exact same amount of beautiful, clean, rich oxygen. Going back to our oxalite monster dupe here, we can see that the oxalite has a certain mass and that it is emitting oxygen. Where people get wrapped up is they believe it is emitting that oxygen based on 100% of its mass. And unfortunately, that's where the fallacy is. If we go to the Ani Wiki and look up oxalite, we can see that just like every other mineral, when you mine it, it does lose 50% of its mass. Long story short, the devs made it so mined oxalite releases oxygen based on its full mass, whereas unmined oxalite only releases oxygen based on 50% of its mass. Effectively, making it so there's no difference whether or not you mine it or leave it as an untouched tile. The only difference being is that when you mine the oxalite, it releases the oxygen much slower. But as scary and as threatening as our oxalite monster is, it's not exactly a scientific experiment. That's where these two beautiful blocks come into play. What we're gonna do is open these boxes from the inside out. And what it leaves us with is a beautiful vacuum. We're gonna clear these floors just to make sure there's no other mineral or anything else in these boxes to keep the scientific experiment pretty pure. Then we're gonna take 100 kilos worth of oxalite and paint one in each box. So this one's in the wrong position. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. Otherwise somebody would say in the comments, it's because the oxalite was in a different position, Echo. So we will completely reset these experiments once again. Let no one say that we are not dedicated to the truth here in Ani Mythbusters. Title pending. All right, here we go again with our very clean boxes. And we're gonna try to paint them in the same square this time. There's one, and there's one. Now the difference being is I'm gonna dig one of these out. The other one, we're just gonna let slowly burn off. Here's a dig command. And there's the debris. Notice this is exactly 50 kilos worth of debris compared to the 100 kilos of oxalite in the left box. We're not gonna do anything fancy. I'm just gonna fast forward this to show you the end result. And now we'll unpause, the debris will fall, and the undug out oxalite will stay. We are now on times nine speed, and don't worry, you can run this at times one and times three if you'd like as well. And notice that the oxalite in the left box has now deteriorated, yet our debris is still here. In fact, every single tile in here has 1,388.9 grams worth of oxygen. Our debris is still kicking it, emitting oxygen at a much slower rate. Let's go ahead and fast forward it once again. And as you can see, we're nearing the end of the half-life of the oxalite, and I'm pretty sure you can see where this is going to end up. And there we go. This is 1,389 grams worth of oxygen pressure in every single tile inside this box. This one only has 1,388.9 grams worth of pressure. So if anything, digging out your oxalite actually produces more oxygen. Although, that's probably just a rounding error. And as for a second experiment, I'm going to highlight what happens when you have more than one side covered on the oxalite because that also impacts how fast the oxalite will release its oxygen. For instance, in this setup, we have one piece of debris at 50 kilos and then three pieces of oxalite at 100 kilos. One of the tiles has three tiles exposed. One of the tiles has five tiles exposed, whereas the last one has all eight tiles exposed. 
We'll start off the experiment slower this time so we can see the difference. Notice that the oxalite in the bottom right is releasing at about 100 to 200 grams per second. The one exposed by the second most amount of sides is releasing between 80 and 160 grams per second. And then finally, the one that's exposed to the least amount of tiles is exposing between 53 and 106 grams per second. We'll fast forward this and see how it goes. Once again, all of the oxalite that was not mined out is the first to go. And as this debris gets smaller, it emits less and less oxygen. With only 10 kilos left, it's down to emitting about 50 grams per second. 5 kilos remaining? Well, we're emitting now 28 grams per second. And as we get down to 2.5 kilos worth of oxalite, we're emitting less than 15 grams per second. And with all four examples complete, once again, we end up with 1388.9 and every single test of the unmined oxalite and 1389 in the mined oxalite. So there you have it. That myth has been busted. So next time your dupes come walking up on a pile of oxalite, you might as well dig it out. In fact, it'll make the oxygen it's releasing last even longer. And if you see somebody passing any bad information about Oxalite, why don't you go ahead and send them a link to this video? So until next time, I'll talk to you soon.